Hey, welcome back to Dance Commander's Cast. Uh, taking a bit of a change of pace from streaming Arma here, I've had some uh, IRL problems that have kept me from continuing my Arma season. I have a, a job, I'm an engineer, where I use a scroll wheel really heavily uh, and a mouse all day which has led to me developing some moderate tendonitis in my wrist and uh, I've been having to take a break from the computer in my personal time so like I don't have to lose my job <laughs> to recover from from the issues I'm having but I did some testing and I found that I can actually hold an Xbox controller pretty comfortably and uh, I never really got into Skyrim back in 2011 but I figured I would give it a shot now because I kind of missed playing games. So I've got a pretty heavily modded file here. Uh, what I've done is made basically a random character. I used an RNG that Wizards of the Coast provides for like rolling dice online to just choose my race and class and sex and here we are. Uh, <laughs> we have a female wood elf uh, who I have somewhat unkindly named Pillows the Elf and you can maybe try to figure <laughs> out why. Uh, what I want to do here is a bit of a one life to live playthrough. So we're going to try to role play Pillows um, and when she dies she dies and that's going to be the end of that stream. So uh, what I've done here is I have a pretty heavily modded file. I have a mod pack that I put together mostly off of other people's recommendations, but we're doing something called Another Life to Live, which is where instead of the normal Skyrim start where you start in a carriage, you uh, start in a cell underground and can pray to this statue of Mara to... Approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. Essentially choose a quick start for you. And I had also made a list of these and rolled on it, and I ended up rolling the Warlock's Thrall. So I have some idea what that's going to mean, but I don't actually really know. <laughs> so some of these sound like they're actually kind of like the Morrowind start, where you just step off of a boat, and there you are. But I like the idea of this because I don't really like the standard Skyrim start. It's exciting and it's cool, but I think it railroads you down the main quest a little bit, and Even I just want to do something different. Hour, there is yet hope. So, okay, so use the empty bed to begin your new life. Okay. So here we are. Um, so is this guy hostile? No. But he's just going to kind of ignore me. Okay. So I can use... Okay, so he'll get out of the way. got a robe but I've got nothing in my pockets so uh, I guess I'm this guy's thrall which means that he owns me can I leave Ooh. okay doesn't seem to trigger anything so I've got a couple other mods installed here um, one of which is some survival mods called Frostfall, Campfire, and I Need, along with the You Hunger mods. You can see in the lower right hand corner of the screen, he, uh, or she has uh, some indicators that determine how well fed she is, she just got thirstier there, uh, how well rested she is, and how hungry she is. So she's apparently pretty hungry right now. Um, but I don't want to eat raw food because that's just going to make me sick. And, uh, Ooh, that's trapped. Okay. So, uh... Okay, book on alchemy. So let's just go see what's out here. Um...
probably should get some weapons put oh right. I'm guessing you're part of my little clan here uh oh you oh think you stand a chance. okay um so I'm a wood elf so from playing Morrowind that okay that should give me the command animal skill uh Ooh. Oh, I turned off uh, ambient effects so we could not be overwhelmed by sewer noises when I was in the prison before. But I can make this wolf my ally for about a minute. Oh, but he's still going to go after, after this lady. And she is going to bring it back to life. That is pretty spooky. Alright, so these these necromancers that I work with, I guess I should go help them fight. Um, do I have any weapons in my inventory? Yes, I do. Uh, I'm going to make this a bit okay. Oh, and I have some green apples, so I should probably eat some of those. You still have a whoa, whoa, okay. I guess you're not on my side. Okay. So the frost slows me down, apparently. Okay. Well, this is intense. I think I might have aggressed her when my wolf attacked her, because I don't think she was initially hostile to me. And given that she was sitting right outside the cave, I'm gonna guess... Well, yeah. That's better than what I'm wearing right now. I'm just wearing some crappy robes. Oh, but these are warmer robes, but I'll take the magic regen. Okay, come on. Oof. So you can mod Skyrim all day, but you're still not going to do away with the shitty clipping. It. I do find it's easier to get up rocks if you kind of run at an angle. So this is Skyrim and not Skyrim Special Edition because I was looking into the modding tools available for Special Edition. Let's see if she left anything up there. It looks like there's a couple potions that got knocked off the cliff. And uh, SKSE, which is the Skyrim script extender, has actually not been ported to... Skyrim Special Edition, so most of the cool mods that are kind of mandatory don't actually work. Um, so I'm wondering now, since I attacked her, if this guy in here is going to be hostile to me. Oh yeah. Oh, you betcha. Well, time to be freed of my ch- What? What? Yeah. What? Oh. Did you just reanimate that slaughterfish? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, but this is pretty serious business. I'm gonna get killed. Um, cause I am oh. not doing damage to him. And he is doing some damage to me. So, let's wait for him to get out here. Okay, so he doesn't look like he wants to follow me, but I think I might have killed his wife. So, I kind of understand that. Um, do I have a healing spell in here anywhere? I do. So it looks like all characters start the game 
with a healing spell. So, okay, well, that's that's the start of my character. I've uh, been able to escape the clutches of my necromantic captors, I think. I killed one and angered the other, so... Uh, I'm not in the habit of leaving my enemies alive. So we're going to have to come back and finish the job on that when I'm a little bit stronger. But for now, let's try to get some distance on that. Given all the empty wine bottles, I don't think they treated me very well. Um, but let's just see what we can see. Kind of wonder what the nature of our relationship was. kind of stumbling upon some things out here. So there's just some alchemical reagents and spell books out in the wild and I can get behind that. Let's see what vapor blast does. Restoration. You don't generally want to read those books until... Is my stomach growling? That's awesome. Okay. Let's see what that book does. So if you look at the uh, UI up here really quick, this is Sky UI. It's kind of a standard mod if you've ever played any Skyrim, but it's a lot better than the game's default inventory system. So Vapor Blast is a destruction spell, it's, I think I only start the game with 100 magic, so it's probably more than I can cast right now, and it, okay, interesting. So I have to be wet for this spell to work, but it looks like it actually does a lot of damage, um, if I am wet, so I can attack people with steam. Was there somebody who was going to be here? Okay. Well, let's let's get out of here before whoever's books I stole comes back. So, uh, before too much longer, I'm gonna need to find some food. I'm gonna need to find some water, and I'm gonna need to find a place to sleep. Fireproof. Oh, that was a plague wolf. Okay. Whatever that means. That's a wolf wolf. And a lot of magic. Why is that wolf green? <laughs> okay, there's a Spriggan. There's a Spriggan. That is something I don't think I can handle right now. I kind of like the way this character has started. I've got a pretty good sense of it. Uh, I'd be a little disappointed if it ended right here. Oh, that's bringing it still coming on strong. What is this up here? That is just an elk. Those of you who watch my armor stream 
may be disappointed by the level of realism present in Skyrim. I think that Spriggan is still following me, but I need some food. And that's a lot of venison, so we're just gonna get out of here with that. Who's in here? Is this maybe f probably not friendly? So it's probably full of enemies to kill. Just because. <clears throat> so, I have a mod installed called Immersive Roads. I'm not sure how immersive I feel that these roads are. But, um... City guard. Okay. Rifton's under my protection. You watch yourself now. Probably not worth it. So, am I at Rifted? Did I run all the way down here? I did. Okay. So, I'm going to make kind of a role-playing decision here, and the fact that I'm like a hedge mage who lives in a cave and wears a necromancer's robe, I don't think I'm the kind of person who really wants to go near the major cities. Uh, I also don't really like Riften, because I don't want to get sucked into the Thieves Guild quest line. I think this whole playthrough, we're just not going to do any questing. We're not going to... Um, get involved in any storyline stuff. We're just gonna go be kind of a hedge witch. Who in the name of Azura are you? Are you kidding me? We're all alone out here yeah, except for care. a few guards who couldn't give a damn about us. Hmm, interesting. So one of the things about I need is it's supposed to make it so that I can't take things that are at farms, but maybe that is not present at all of the farms. Do I have that installed? Okay, so I'm guessing this doesn't count as like a farm for whatever reason. Let's see if these people maybe know. Okay. So I'm tired, and I'm thirsty, and I'm hungry. And if I eat raw meat in this mod, I might get a disease. But I don't want to go to this town, so... How do I drink? That's making me cold. Let's not do that. I didn't see what that said. I thought I heard a mud crab. So how do I drink? Let's figure that out first.
So I think I have to drink from a water skin. So it sounds like step one is for me to find myself a leather rack so I can craft a water skin. And since I don't want to go to Riften, that could be a little hard. So where have I been? Not many places. Let's go to Fort Greenwall. Let's see if maybe the good people of Fort Greenwall can and I feel like I kind of need to move fast so we are gonna do this a little differently so just to get a little overview of what I have in my inventory um, I have an iron dagger. I've got these robes I stole off the lady I murdered. Well, she attacked me. I guess I didn't murder her. I do start with actually a pretty decent enchanted ring. And I've got some potions that I stole off the ground. I've got a couple apples. <coughs> and some basic alchemical reagents along with some books I picked up. But also, I've only got 29 gold. And while I don't really want... To talk to ooh yeah. Let's not steal all this guy's fish. Well, I don't really want to talk to this guy. I'm pretty sure one of these horses costs more than 29 gold. So we're just gonna we're just gonna steal it. And I don't know that anyone saw me steal it, other than the horse itself, so... Is that as fast as this horse goes? That's pretty weak. <laughs> well, alright, that was less exciting than I hoped it was going to be. I kind of thought they'd chase me a little bit, but now at least I can move around without draining my stamina. I have a mod installed, so animals do not report crimes which seems pretty common sense. So the horse in vanilla Skyrim would have reported me as having stolen it to the guards. Which seems a little silly. So those look kind of like bandits. Let's see what they've got. But I hear, a, I hear a blacksmith's hammer. So I'm thinking they must have a leather rack. Oh, yeah, you guys aren't real helpful, are you? Oof. So I'm suffering from somewhat severe thirst here. And I can see what that actually comes to. Oh, and I've already got some fucking disease. Crimson Plague Muteness. Okay, so I can't shout, which isn't a problem because I don't know any shouts. <sighs> I'm wet, which... Haha, -ha, that's what she said. But I'm still warm, so I'm doing okay there. But I'm starting to get some debuffs from being hungry and thirsty. And I want to deal with that before that gets much worse. So I'm hoping that Spriggan has kind of gotten out of here by now. Oh. Yeah, there's some bad guys in there. So we're just going to get some distance and let my detection go away. Why am I still detected? Oh, for fuck's sake. 
So I'm guessing that's what the plague wolf did to me, because it probably gave me that disease. Okay. So if I can survive long enough to cook it... I should be able to eat for a little while with all the meat I've recovered. Let's wait for an hour. It's probably not going to help my hunger or my thirst, but why is my detection not gone away? Well, I'm not confident that I have... Okay, let me just observe this for a minute. Alright, I'm hungry again. Let's eat my last two green apples. And let's eat a raw squash. <laughs> so I'm starting to return to not being detected. I don't have very good stealth, so this could go a couple different ways. But I don't... I don't know where anything is. I can't go home to Boulderfall Cave. I don't want to go to Riften. I suppose I could kill this couple and sleep in their farm, but I don't know that I want to start going down any moral alignment roads. Okay. So we're going to third person here a little bit because we're cheaters. I didn't kill that guy. I wonder what ha- oh shit. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! No! Okay, okay. Alright, so, so the fire spell is pretty good. We got some, we got some, okay, that went better than I thought it would. We'll take the first shoes. I don't want to take the armor because, ooh, I do want to take the cape though. Because I need the magic, because from what you can see, the only good thing I know how to do is shoot fire out of my hand. So, yeah, I'm moving real slow from first. Let's see if he's got any goodies on him. No. It's going to get cold at night, so I want to deal with this before then. there. Well, I'll kill you because I want to, so I guess that makes one of us a hobbyist. My one-liner game isn't really on point. Scared you so bad you fell off the tower, you dumb bitch. Ooh, and a pot to cook with. Alright, I'm liking this bandit castle already. I think green is probably more my color. Definitely gonna want a torch, it's getting dark. I just really, really hope that someone has a water skin or that there's a tanning rack here. Let's put this cloak on. Oh, and one of these is crap and the other one's actually pretty nice. So let's put on the green cloak. have a leather tanning rack. I really would greatly appreciate a leather tanning rack. But it's not looking like you have one.
someone there. Okay. Still... So none of these guys are able to drink. It's kind of what I'm taking away from this. Huh? <gasps> Holy shit! Get him good! That seems like bad news. Maybe the captain has a water skin. That's really our quest right now, because I'm thirsty and I don't want to die of thirst. What was that? Can't hide from me. Yeah, that was a mistake. Yep, bandit chief. Probably not good to tangle with the bandit chief just yet. Oh god. Alright, what's the way out? That's a dead end. Oh! <laughs> this is probably how Pillows the Elf dies. And just watch. I'm gonna see a leather rack on the way out here. Oh, they killed my horse. Fuck. And I'm carrying like 50 pounds of meat on me here. Alright, that seems like a bad plan. Much as I don't want to die of thirst, I don't think they are going to have a leather tanning rack for me. So... All right. What's the plan? So there's gotta be some towns in here. I don't wanna go to like a major city, but I'm willing to stop by a town or maybe just to creep in in the dead of night. Oh, oh, there's literally a town that, okay. It's on my map and I can see it and I guess they can see me. So this is kind of point. Maybe the chickens are detecting me. If there's a blacksmith. And if there's a blacksmith, there's a leather tanning rack. It's just a fucking elk. <laughs> I love Skyrim's creature AI. Oh, here it is. Okay. Am I in combat? You have yourself a bet. You think living with Grogmar is easy? Did you see how he lives? You two will just have to learn to get along until we can build you another house. At this rate, that'll never happen. Quit your belly aching. We've all got our problems. So I'm in combat still somehow. I've been cracking rock ever. I wonder if waiting for an hour will improve that. I've been able to hold the pickaxe, and I'm telling you, this mine is drying up. And I'm telling you, you're wrong. What makes you so sure? What if I'm right? Okay. So I can't currently get out of combat. Okay, so I think the game might be a little bit glitched. So let's just save here. 
here. And we'll restart.